remain among the accursed. Dark Souls 3 is an atmospheric RPG where you hack, slash, and loot your way through creatures, bosses, and even other players. Upon starting the game, a cutscene plays explaining some of the game's lore and the setting. Afterwards, you create your character in an extremely in-depth character creator and are placed in a tutorial zone with messages telling you controls and the basics on how to play. Once you finish the zone, you are instantly thrown into a fairly difficult boss to fend for yourself. When it comes to most Dark Souls bosses, you'll be fighting them multiple times if you're new to the series or that particular boss. The most important thing for you to do during combat is to dodge attacks by rolling. If you roll successfully, you'll completely avoid damage. Eventually, you'll learn their attack combos and biggest weakness, which you can use to your advantage to kill the boss. As you venture forward, you'll find the most important place in the game called the Firelink Shrine. Here you can level up your character, buff equipment, or even buy and sell items. Any friendly NPC that you meet further in the game will most likely end up here, and could be interacted with later. Once you leave the shrine, at least 36 hours of content is left to complete. Souls are the main currency and are used to do nearly everything in the game. When leveling your character, you have the option to empower 9 different stats that affect your character based on how you play, and what weapons and armors you prefer. Since leveling up requires souls, the higher your level, the more souls that are required to level up. The level system overall is intimidating for beginning players, but once you adapt, you can end up being very creative with your level points. Reversing other players can happen through certain territories or events known as invasion. If you are invaded, a player or NPC highlighted in red will try to kill you. Dark Souls has its own co-op mechanics where you have to own an item called a white soapstone in order to summon others or enter someone else's world. In order for people to go to your world, you need to be Ember. Embers can be found in various locations throughout the game, and are also given by defeating bosses or invaders. The white soapstone can be tedious to use because if you can't see your friend's summon sign or they can't see yours, it would be difficult to find the problem. Dark Souls' fast travel system uses bonfires. Once you light a bonfire, you can teleport to any other bonfire anywhere in the game as long as it's lit. Bonfires also completely reset enemies that you've already killed, so be careful when using them. The game's graphics are the best I've seen this year, with mine being at the lowest settings possible. This also means that it's difficult to run on PC, so if yours isn't that good, you may want to get it on console. The game's music is also amazing, especially during the boss fights when the soundtrack matches the intensity of the battle. Like all of the Dark Souls games, this one doesn't hold your hand and constantly help you. You will die a lot, and it can be frustrating at times, so it's not for people who give up easily. With all the content you get, and all the things the creators did right in the game, it's definitely worth $60.